Once, in the vast expanse of the desert where sand dunes stretched endlessly under the scorching sun, there lived a magnificent peacock. Unlike its usual habitat of lush green forests, this peacock had adapted to the harsh desert environment with its shimmering feathers and graceful demeanour. One fateful day, a raging sandstorm descended upon the desert. The wind howled fiercely, whipping up clouds of sand that obscured the sun and everything in sight. Caught in the midst of this tempest, the peacock struggled to find shelter. Its feathers, usually a source of pride and beauty, were now weighed down by sand and battered by the relentless wind. Despite its best efforts to weather the storm, the peacock succumbed to the relentless fury of nature. Exhausted and injured, it collapsed onto the desert floor, its vibrant feathers now dulled and covered in sand. As the storm subsided, leaving behind a tranquil but eerie silence, two travellers happened upon the scene. They were nomads, traversing the desert in search of new horizons. Amidst the vast emptiness, the sight of the peacock struck them with a poignant sense of loss. As the storm subsided, leaving behind a tranquil but eerie silence, two travellers happened upon the scene. They were nomads, traversing the desert in search of new horizons. Amidst the vast emptiness, the sight of the peacock struck them with a poignant sense of loss. Denai and Malik, the two travellers, had been journeying through the desert for days. They were seasoned nomads, accustomed to the harsh realities of desert life, its unforgiving heat, its sudden sandstorms, and its sparse oases of life. They relied on their deep knowledge of the land and each other's companionship to survive. When they stumbled upon the injured peacock lying amidst the dunes, their first instinct was concern. Deny, with his weathered hands and deep wrinkles etched by years under the desert sun, approached cautiously. He knelt beside the bird, gently brushing away the sand that clung to its feathers. The peacock's once vibrant plumage now looked muted, its regal stance replaced by a fragile stillness. Malik, younger and more impulsive, fetched water from their meagre supplies, hoping to revive the bird but as they carefully poured droplets onto its parched beak, they realised the storm had taken its toll. The peacock's breathing had grown shallow, its eyes reflecting a fading glimmer of life. We can't just leave it here, Malik murmured, his voice tinged with sadness. Denai nodded silently, understanding the unspoken bond they shared with the desert's creatures, no matter how fleeting. Together they fashioned a makeshift stretcher from branches and their spare clothing. With careful hands, they lifted the peacock, its once proud form now a fragile burden. As they walked across the shifting sands, memories of their own hardships flickered through their minds, times when they had struggled against the desert's relentless grip, finding solace in moments of unexpected beauty. Finding a sheltered spot under the shade of a rocky outcrop, they laid the peacock gently on the ground. The desert sun, now sinking low on the horizon, cast long shadows across the golden sands. With reverence born of their nomadic traditions, they began to dig a shallow grave. The earth yielded easily to their hands, as if acknowledging the solemnity of their task. They placed the peacock in its final resting place, arranging it with tender care. Malik gathered wildflowers, their vibrant hues a stark contrast against the muted tones of the desert landscape. They adorned the bird, each flower a whispered tribute to its lost splendour. Denai spoke softly, his words carried by the gentle breeze that stirred the sands around them. He offered prayers in a language as ancient as the desert itself, honouring the spirit of the peacock and asking for peace in its journey beyond. As they covered the peacock with earth and stones, a sense of closure settled over them. They stood together in silence, their heads bowed, offering a moment of silent reverence to the cycle of life and death that governed their desert world. Night fell softly over the desert, casting a veil of stars above their heads. 
Dinai and Malik knew they would carry the memory of the peacock with them, its beauty, its resilience, and the fleeting encounter that had bound their hearts to its silent departure. With renewed resolve, they continued their journey under the vast desert sky, guided by the distant shimmer of stars and the quiet wisdom of their nomadic spirits. One of the men, moved by compassion, suggested they give the peacock a proper farewell. They gathered dry branches and fashioned a simple stretcher, carefully lifting the peacock onto it. With solemn determination, they began to dig a shallow grave in the soft desert soil, a final resting place under the open sky. They adorned the peacock with flowers they had collected during their journey, a tribute to its former splendour. The other traveller spoke softly, offering words of gratitude for the beauty the peacock had brought to their lives, if only for this brief encounter. Together they lowered the peacock into the earth, covering it gently with sand. They marked the grave with stones creating a small cairn to honour its memory. In the quiet desert twilight, they stood for a moment, paying silent homage to the life that had touched theirs. As they resumed their journey, the two travellers carried with them a newfound reverence for the delicate balance of life in the desert. The memory of the peacock, with its vibrant feathers and graceful presence, remained etched in their minds, a reminder of beauty, resilience, and the fleeting nature of existence in the vastness of the desert. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this story, please like and subscribe the channel and leave the comment.